short video provides a little description about the stratification. Quite often, researchers ask questions about the strata component of the research question, that is, the question diagram template developed by research and research group. So this video provides some description to understand this strata component of the QD. The foremost point that one should remember about strata is to avoid it as far as possible. Importantly for two reasons. One, it increases the number of tables for the project and thus for the manuscript making uh, it confusing for the readers and second for small sample size the stratification would not make sense because the patients will get distributed in the subgroups now let's understand this with an example so say my primary objective or the hypothesized conclusion is to compare the mortality rates of open and laparoscopic appendectomy. So this is my hypothesized conclusion as to maybe I can say that uh, the mortality rate is uh, higher in open as compared to laparoscopic appendectomy. So this is my hypothesized conclusion. So what I'm going to do? So when I have this as my hypothesized conclusion, I'm just comparing the mortality between these two groups. However, I have a guess or maybe literature support showing severity to be a variable that would influence the findings of mortality in these two groups. Well, if this is the only case, I can use severity grades as confounders. What does that mean? I can just list severity as the confounders under the potential confounders here however if i am interested in seeing the distribution of the patients with different severity grades in the two groups in order to interpret the results in light of this distribution i would list the severity as strata so i would list here severity as strata and under that maybe grades grade one grade two and grade three as for for example so this is how i would do now when i include here severity as strata for these three different grades let's see how my final results would look so as you can see here when i have strata apart from comparing the two groups okay i would also compare the severity grades three severity grades grade one two and three in both these groups so if i had only two groups as open laparoscopic i would have had the two tables say bivariate and model for these two groups however when i list strata apart from those two tables i will also have bivariate and model for these subgroups as well so as you can see this leads to increased number of tables additionally if you see if i have only two groups okay i am dividing the whole sample population into two groups however if i have subgroups to compare 
here there are six subgroups the whole population gets divided into these subgroups leading to less number of patients in each of these groups so if my sample size is less strata wouldn't be a good idea so this is what uh, i wanted to talk about the strata hope it makes sense for all of you thank you